Welcome to another edition of First Minister's Questions Review. And today we have a full house of the regulars, Mr. Phil Attridge, Mr. Norman Stewart, Mr. Alex Grant and myself, Master Stuart Lockhead. And today's FMQs, well, it was quite noisy. We had uh, a deputy presiding officer in charge who disappointed me. But uh, let, let's, let's see, who's, who, was he, who wasn't here last week? Alex, you can go first. What's your first overview? Great. Loved it. Every single minute of it. Because the closer the Labour gets to the Tories, uh, the more opportunity there is for the First Minister to turn around and say, you have the temerity to ask me that question when your policy is this. It was fabulous. I mean, Joanne Lamont was pretty much as she's been in terms of uh, how she's delivered things. She's still reading from a script, but she's doing it reasonably competently, but it's still reading from a script. Um, but, you know, what has the UK ever done for us in this, this strategy of trying to say, actually, you don't want independence. It's a, it's a very hairy strategy as far as I'm concerned. Um, because the SNP are trying to portray independence as something that's not that cataclysmic. It's actually quite sensible. And as long as people are sensible about it, then by definition, like with welfare, since we already administer loads of it, then we can manage it sensibly. All they do is stick in the negatives. And when she started sticking in the negatives today, he had a field day. He, he eviscerated her from top to toe, as far as I'm concerned, and said, you're telling me that when Ed Bowles and Miliband are going to do this? Give me a break. I, I'll tell you what the UK's done for us. And he did that right across the piece, so I thought he was, he was terrific. Um, sorry, what did, what did you think about today? I thought she started well, um, but the minute she started apologising, the minute she said that's not what Ed Bowles said, yeah. mm. after Alex Salmond had pointed out he was quoting what yeah, right. is effectively a Labour paper of the Daily Record, yeah. she was on her back foot, and he had her on the back foot from there on. Uh, she's gone back to this, she never lifted her eyes. No. Yeah. It was, you know. And he kept bringing up that same sheet of paper yeah. Put a copy of the yeah. Daily Record. Yeah. The eye contact thing is really important in situations like that, and she doesn't do it. She has to. She has to look at it when she's making these accusations. Yeah. And she can't do it because she doesn't believe it. Oh. It's easy to let oh. your eyes slide down to the paper, and that—that's a tell. How about you? Overall. Yeah. Well, that was, I, again, I thought she started off off well, but it is that continually looking. I mean, you're reading when you're reading an answer to somebody. But when you're actually attacking somebody, questioning them something, but you actually don't have the self-confidence to do it like this, mm -hmm. like talking at, I'm like, you know, and, and it looks shifty. It looks shifty. It's, it's a really, really bad presentation. Even though I thought she did quite well, if she'd been looking at the camera and had learned that, she'd have come across a lot better. But of course she had an awful lot of weights around her neck called Miliband and balls and, um, and yeah, he had the flag, the Daily Record, which was absolutely, you know, I mean, that was it. She was really, really on the back foot. So what um, is, so what is, I mean, we, we discussed this before we started this recording and before we started watching this, uh, uh, this article by uh, Rev Stu, you know, Wings, the suggestion that the Daily Record could be ready to position itself to go for, well, if you want Diva Max, you better vote yes. Mm. Yeah, well, I think it's interesting. The, the, the more, as I said a moment ago, the more, Labour become like the Tories, the greater the opportunity. And then if if you get a Labour supporting orifice like the Daily Record, then on a cleft stick, what can they say? I, th I think it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting thesis. I'm not sure it's absolutely right, but I think it's possibly correct. Well, also this united with Labour. There's a complete split in the new campaign. Yeah, and total silence from The Labour, they're silenced from the mainstream media because they're also pro-unionist. Yeah. And yet, we, it, 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 it's like the sore sort of thing on your face. How can you miss it? The Labour Party will not, Labour Party activists will not campaign on the Better Together Well, right, when, you, well when you listen, no. that, 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 that whole bit, um, the, basically that they're scared of independence and not going, I mean, she's actually doing the, she was actually appeared to be doing the argument to vote yes. Yeah, exactly. Um, for them, because, well, if it isn't that much problem, uh, then, what is it? She, she doesn't. Even, I don't think she even realised she was doing well, that. Well, she, she's trying to say, of course, is uh, it's not worth it. Why are you going through all this hassle and aggravation? It's not. It's not worth it. When he comes up with the social justice bit, which I think is part of that vision that has to be mm. properly uh, put across, 
she is actually giving him, she's opening the goal and saying, kick the ball. And the more they go down this route of, I'll tell you what the difference will be, and Ed Balls and Miliband won't support this, then they stand a fighting chance of appealing but, to Labour supporters. What? I mean, from a Labour Party perspective, I do not understand what they thought was going to happen. Lamont got up, start the year, and start talking about getting rid of universal benefits. Yeah. Miliband and Balls do exactly the same. Balls goes further. Yeah, further than the, than the Tories are suggesting the at the moment on cuts to welfare. Talking about pensions now. Caps on pensions. And he's talking about a differential rate of welfare across the country. Really? Regional differential? Yeah. I'm so sorry. you get more money in London if you're poor than you are in Scotland. There's no if you're poor. historians amongst them. Well, also no that, taxation, no representation. Well, that thing about. Do you seriously think the Scots will be happy? to pay the same level of tax for less welfare. No, they won't. So pe people get oh. a less of a pension when you haven't paid contributions. It's not welfare. It's a contributory pension yeah. that you put in. Yeah. So they're actually blurring the whole thing. No. They're, they're bringing in that Phil. American context of welfare. It's Phil, charity. Phil, you know, no. stop. Why are you explaining that for them? <laughs> they did not explain that. It's, it's who, who didn't? The Labour Party. No, no, they didn't. But that, that but somebody I mean, needs somebody. Well, we're anoraks. We know that because we've read probably I, I, everything I, I, that was I, I, said about the it. The thing is, when you look at the SNP, and you actually seen it with Salmon, because I mean, today, I mean, he was as good as I've ever seen him. Particularly when he when he ripped up the Tory at the end, you know, yeah. and, and and he just hit with the figures. Yeah. Hit with the figures. The SNP are sitting back for whatever they're talking about, and they're actually working out the figures. There are, um, and, and they have a go at them when you do it, when Swinney was a bit there a, a year ago with that report, which mm. Swinney didn't say, we're not going to be able to afford it, all this. They were looking at the possibility of maybe if they, they could. Looking they were looking at all the same, yeah, but which is remember, sensible. Remember that, but, the, but, but that, this is the important point, point, Phil. The only thesis they're left with, since they're all saying the same thing, all the three main, main parties, the only thesis they're left with is, you need to be very afraid because you can't afford to do it on your own, which is a contradiction to, well, we totally accept the fact that Scotland could succeed on its own. But the, what they're all, all they're left with is, we're doing the necessary labour because the only way they can win is to say the same as the Tories. And if you say anything else, as Alec Johnson tried to say at the very end, you're lying because you can't yeah. afford it. That's what, you can't afford it. Prove you can afford it before you promise well, anything. Here, here, I mean, here's one of the headlines today uh, was apparently... Like yeah, yeah, Westminster has. Uh, the Prime Minister's question is yesterday in a question about uh, the oil and gas, the, the offshore business, industry. It's apparently to um, Cameron, it's the jewel in the crown of uh, British business. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently well, it's a liability but, we can't, for us. but it's a liability for Scotland. Because we're too stupid Just to manage. We can't handle it. Uh, exactly. Get, uh, Oil, gas revenues and whiskey revenues to the exchequers. If Scotland were to go away and take its share of gas, oil and whiskey, of course, that would put a £90 billion pounds hole in the exchequer. Yeah. Um, that's why they're terrified of losing it. Yeah, but somebody, they, Labour doesn't have a coherent policy because everybody basically, I mean, I watch what you've got a Labour Party meetings. When Ed Balls or any of them stand up and say something, it doesn't matter who they stand up, oh, you have to support it, you have to support it, even if they're all contradicting each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because there's no real democracy in there at all. They're making it up as they go on the hoof. Um, and the Tories, well, the Tories are Tories. I mean, they're not. I mean, this whole bit with Ruth Davidson, I mean, come on. As if she cares if somebody dies after, uh, after medical. She could, oh, I didn't die. They do not. <laughs> Yeah. Here's, here's a prediction for you. I don't know how many of you, if, if you all noticed. There's a point at which Joanne Lamont, Lamont, and the way it happened was she took a breath before she started the statement and she stopped and took another breath. But what she said was, the people of Scotland are mugs. Now, it stands out of context because of the way it was delivered. The breath before she started and the breath before mm. she finished. That will be on Twitter. The people are mugs. She, what what she, what she basically that? accused Sam, she was accusing Salmond of thinking the people of Scotland Oh yeah, were mugs. Treating them like mugs, yeah, yeah. But the way she delivered it was, right. and you, Alex Salmond, pause, think, pause, the people of Scotland are mugs, pause. I can see what you mean. Right? Mm. It's going to be cut out and plastered all over the internet. Yeah. 
well, I'm going to do it. So. <laughs> well, let's main, move on to the minor players here. Um, <sighs> Willie Rennie was back, oh. and he seemed to get a good slap in again. I mean, it, to some extent, th there is some sympathy. It's a conspiracy. Yeah, well, yeah. to some extent, there, there is. Uh, he's, he's focused on the one thing that the Rob Dems have, have had consistency on. They don't like centralisation, but that's something to do with the fact that the, the, the few MSPs they've got are scattered right on the fringes. Can I, can I make a prediction here? Wally Rennie will bring up the uh, National Police Force at least six times yeah. in the coming future, at which point Clegg will get up and say he thinks it's a good idea for England. Yeah, that's probably. what happened with nurseries. <laughs> oh yes, the nursery. The whole, the whole toddler thing that he was going on about has been blown out of the water because they've, given, they've decided not to go ahead in England. So I look forward to Clegg making a statement that says it should be one police force in England. I think the, the prize one there, though, was a supercilious smirking of Bomber, Bomber Bailey. This secret hidden list. Yeah. Um, what hidden? Where? Secret? We don't know where it is because it's hidden and it's secret. This coming from a party that actually, well, they didn't hide it, didn't secret, they just didn't write anything. Well, he should have said that, though. I think yeah. he missed a trick there because I, I, I think his riposte to her was pretty good, but he should have said, but the Labour Party didn't even want lists, so why are you asking? But she had wind. Bailey, she always wind because she always has that smirk on her face. Bailey is actually quite effective. Oh. Now, Salmond, I think, is looking long term. I think he's simply going to say every time she opens her mouth, well, that's you moaning again, then. I said, that's a good idea, because yeah. that's all she ever does. She's yeah. the private Fraser of the Labour Party. There's no question about it. all doomed. doomed. Yeah, absolutely. No, I think that works well. There was, a, there was a joke in the paper the other day about somebody moaning in the back of my taxi and would you get out, she farted. And somebody replied to it. Was it was on one of the one of the blogs, somebody replied to it, oh her name wasn't Bailey, was it taking your point? <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, no, but it's, it is because I mean, does she never not? Oh, it's like it was the The Scottish Labour Party in Hollywood did not look comfortable today. Including Neil Finlay, a man who I have got a bit of time for, yeah. who tends to be quite effective when he asks a question. But, you know, he got up to ask about uh, employment and Wiseman's days. I remember this when Wiseman took it over. No, it was Muller took over Wiseman. Yeah. Yeah. Muller, Muller, Muller went about it. Sold it. Yeah. And did, I'm sure they made guarantees. Well, there's a good point. And that wasn't. Well, what do you think about it? Neil Finlay. He, he was allowed a question because it was a question of jobs in the constituency. Oh. It was just a topical issue, and that's how it works. Um, but it just gave the in for um, Sam and said, "Well, the usual things, yes. So the, the, the usual yeah. agencies have already been in touch, da da da." And aren't our jobs? Well, isn't our jobs position in Scotland wonderful? Well, if you remember, Finlay well, was really meaning Finlay that. Actually, actually, had a dig at that. Don't forget, you know, he almost yeah. he almost said, "It's all right, you've been smug about the good." job results, but in my constituency it's that bad. Now that is a really weak thing to yeah, say. Yeah, and it's the yeah. look on the face, and really they right. think it's some, some kind of media training, like the look on his face said, guys, that's all guys, their jobs guys. because of you. Yeah. What, oh, you know, it just thought, no. What it made me think was about the morale of the Labour Party. They looked like they'd had the wind knocked out their sails, especially noticeable with Neil Finlay, who's much more fiery, yeah. I mean, he is on the left of the Labour Party, he comes out of a, a, a union background, I mm -hmm. think, and he usually it, it spits venom. Oh, he does. Well, he's also got no. the, the campaign he's got now, but, see, and again, it's, it's when people come along, now I know he believes in it, but it was Davy Hamilton and all the other miners during the mining strike, they got lifted and fined and got criminal records and everything else, and they've done nothing. Um, so now he's actually running a campaign which is trying oh, to get these right. overturned. Yeah. I'm sorry, we had 13 years of a Labour government, yeah. why wasn't it done then? No, in? exactly. You know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it might be nitpicking, but I'll look at it, it's not nitpicking, it's quite obvious no, okay, okay, well, why they're doing it now. Well, you're, well, you're, we're talking about minor players, uh, uh, when Joanne opened her, I noticed that who was right behind her? Uh, Malcolm. Yeah, yeah. Malcolm. Oh. Now, Malcolm, it, it's, a, it's a treasure to watch his face. He started off, you know, quite happy, kind of a, kind of a quite happy with what she was saying, but yeah. as she ploughed on, ah, got more dirt, he just looks, he starts to look up at the sky, he doesn't want to make any facial expression, because yeah. he's fully in frame behind her. Mm. Yeah, it's, yeah, she should make sure people like that ain't sat behind her. The, it's true. Well, he, he's, he's a real threat. It's, it's, actually, it's yeah. actually an important thing oh, from, no. from a, you don't a, think so? From a visual point of view, what you, what you need to make sure the person behind them. the main camera is somebody who's right on site. If it's anybody else, because we've seen it a couple of times, 
the facial expression tells you everything, and it's not it's not a good place to be. And I agree with you 100. percent He was definitely not a happy bunny. Uh, Malcolm's retiring this time, and Malcolm's not a leader. Right. No, he's not a leader, but he's but he's an iconoclast. He, you know, oh, yeah. he's he's been in there. A, he 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 more than anybody else. If if you chinned him in the pub at what Ball said last week, he wouldn't be able to defend it. Yes, he was. He was defending it last Thursday. Oh, was he? Yeah. Well, that amazes me. I thought he was better than that. No, no totally, totally agree with it. Uh, but well, that's he's, totally got smacked. He's he's got the, the large picture. I mean, the large picture about this from the Labour Party's angle of this can only be that there'll be more money in the coffers yes. for them to give away. You keep you, you, you keep it in balance the book. There's um well they. Yeah, but then we find that as what happened last time, right? You know, because I do mind they kept the first two years of the of of of, of Tory cuts and Tory budget. budget. When Blair, yeah. when Blair, and, yeah, in. when Blair, yeah. Blair yeah. came yeah. in, yeah. and then there was apparently more money. But we've seen what happened because there weren't more money because all that money was money in a balloon full of air. And when you pop the balloon, oh ho! It was it, it was only holograms that were inside the balloon. There was no bloody money um, and they just printed money and you know just made money out of nothing and then boom and it's all gone because yeah, it was never there in the first but you place. See, but that is the only that's the whole thesis now is the only way we can get re-elected is to say we're as credible as the other lot in terms of cutting and the 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 so the conclusion to that is we're all doomed we actually can't afford any of this stuff you got used to in the last 20 years. So forget it. It's going to be bad, 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 and bad. Something for nothing society. All of that stuff is all the same mantra. And they tried to attack the SNP in the way that Labour was always attacked by the Tories. Mm -hmm. You guys promise everything, but you can't deliver. Your, the economy is not safe in your hands. And unfortunately for them, since 2011, the SNP mm -hmm. haven't done that. Now, the, the classic Cochrane-type defence of that, of course, is... Ah, well, that's because they're given five bob and they can only spend five bob, so they can't be profligate because it's a block grant that they get. Interesting mm. debate. But they're actually trying to nail the, the SNP the way the Tories typically used to, and still are trying to nail Labour. So trust us, we're, we're all, we're all going to have to be Mr. Micawber because I'll tell you what, we can't afford anything else. And he has to keep saying, we got choices here. Mm -hmm. Social justice. But was, but let me throw in some an alternative slightly different line. We sit here and we watch every week it's Joanne and every week it's Alex. Whereas if it's Prime Minister's questions quite frequently Cameron isn't there and you get the deputies. And it's ages and ages since uh, Sturgeon sitting in. And who has ever sat in for uh, Joanne? Nobody. No, well, Nobody. A deputy can he sit in because he's an MP. He's an ass. She's, she's up the yin yang. She has to do it every week because her deputy sits in Westminster. But I mean, it, 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 it kind of limits what, what, all we can ever see every week is Joanne's performance. And it's the only. Yeah, the, only person, same, it? the only person I can think of that could do it would be Ken. Aye. Ken and he, he's the see. one they put up on oh, he's TV. Yeah, yeah. He's always the one they put on TV. <coughs> well, in fact, let's face it, they never or very, very rarely put her on TV because she can only read from a script. Oh, no, no, when you see her on, on when she's sitting, and maybe she's actually quite good, that's what's yeah, but annoying. She's, yeah, when she's on a talk, she's actually very good. And, and, and she really does herself a disservice. I yeah, mean, but she's, she's a bloody no, teacher well, for crying's sake. Yeah, but wait a minute, but wait, that, wait a minute. She, I, I don't disagree with that up to a point, but if she's asked a difficult question without any preparation, she's a train crash. I've yeah, seen, I've seen, seen that. No, she's a train oh, crash. That, okay. Can I just prove yeah. one, one, one bit yeah. we have missed, which I thought was um, very, very good, and it's this continuing saga of the corporation tax. Yes. And, and it's the first time I've really heard him, Alex Salmon, nail it this time, which is when he says, yeah, it might be less, but we'll collect it. Oh, right. Now, if you're paying, if you've got a really high corporation tax, so we can get the money out of these businesses, and then you don't, then you do a Gordon Brown and a new Labour lot, and you look after it's, the businesses, it's, yeah, but and you a, don't collect. Yeah, but it's a, yeah. The truth is, though, they're they're all in the same boat. Well, that's concerned. I I, the, I think there are a lot of SNP supporters, yes supporters, who actually worry a lot about the, that corporation tax. I, I can't, I can't see that policy holding. The, the whole point is, if you drop. I don't think it, that policy is going but to roll all the way to the not, referendum. But the, the whole thing about it is, it's not about the tax you get the corporations. It's about encouraging jobs to be yep. brought to the country. Yep. Mm -hmm. In which case your general tax take goes up. Now, I don't think I've ever seen figures that prove it works. Well, 
The uh, Tories uh, argue. It it I think it depends what level it's seen. It depends what level you're competing with. You know, when it was thirty percent and more, then it, you could cut it. But, but now we're, we're, we're heading for a UK corporation tax have, of about twenty percent. To nail this yeah. whole thing of the tax. I mean, you had Thames Water this week, right, who run a phenomenal amount of the water companies yeah. in the UK, and they haven't paid any bloody tax, any corporation tax, and they've been earning billions and billions. And general, yes, but we did pay 150 million other taxes. They're classing their P-A-Y-E. national insurance yeah, as yeah. tax. Yeah. Your rates to the council. Well, that's the, that's the class. That's the class. That needs to be nailed. And sorry, we need to take a enough. European yeah, perspective on this. I, I, Pay or get out of the country. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Well, anyway, let's start t- counting. I see uh, Nori's got the tables out. Let's let Phil go with the scores first. Right. Um, start. Alec, I'm sorry, it's a straight 10 this, this week. Um, and I thought Joanne's delivery was good, but it was. She'd have got a higher score if she just looked at the camera or just looked up. Um, so I'll have to give her a 7. Mm-hmm. Because she was not bad this week on the whole um, compared to the other. Ruth. Lying hypocritical Tory, guess what? Zero. Um, and uh, Mr. Conspiracy, he's obviously yes. left the Bairns at home, so he's got a zero as well. So, and the presiding <laughs> officer, two. Yes, I didn't have to agree, he wasn't as good as it should have been. Uh, Alex, um, presiding officer, two. Uh, Eck, ten. Um, Ruth, two. Willie, zero. John five. Oh, yeah, it's closer to me, I think. Sorry? Um, I'm going to give Alex nine, because there's always room for improvement. Of course. <laughs> Joanne, um, nah. She made classic mistakes. Yeah, Defi- she started off well, so, you know, I've her, got... her job is to make Salmon defend himself. I've got to show a bit of loyalty. He put her in the position where she was no, defending don't. herself, <laughs> not once, not twice, but three times. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, she's only getting a two. I'll have a party hat today, oh, then, eh? Well, uh, you're a sad bugger. Ruth, <laughs> well, Ruth, as always, I'm sorry, she delivers well, da da da. She's picking subjects that aren't obviously easy hits yeah, for Sam. Oh, well, they all are, really, I suppose. But she's a Tory, it's kind yeah, of Tory. in the DNA, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to give Ruth four, actually. Willie! Well, I'm just waiting for Clegg to cut his legs off again. But I'm going to give him two for turning up. Presiding Officer, two. Uh, I kind of give Salmon a 10. I've, I've seen him do better, but I'll give him a 9. I will admit he was very good. Yeah. Well prepared, sharp. Um, Joanne, again, I agree. She, she started well, but I think she just wandered all over the place as time went by. And he, he did just eviscerate her. So, 5, given being generous. Um, Ruth, was it worth it? To be honest, it, it didn't strike, it didn't hit any. No. Hit nothing. No. Uh, one. Um, Willie Rennie, again, it's their agenda. It's a Lib Dem agenda. It's centralisation. goes on and on about it. I have to get even Norrie. I think uh, Nick Clegg is going to cut his legs off by suggesting a national police force in England. That will be him screwed. Um, one. Presenting off is very disappointed, too. I'd like to give Willie something. That's a slap, sir. <laughs> How are we doing then? then? Uh, Willie last with three. Oh. <laughs> Ruth eight. Presiding officer eight. Joanne Lamont nineteen. Only because of a party hack gave, I, her, gave her a score. I think we're scoring her because she stands up longer than ever. Well, she is there for fifteen minutes. Yeah. Um, but Alex, well ahead. I mean, twice as many as 38? Joanne thirty-eight. Yeah. And I think I did. I I agree with you, Nori. I think. We're I was arguably too generous. If you actually think yeah. what she achieved, Joanne, today, and you're the man as a box of frogs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I've got to make penance now and again, you know. I know, but I'll bet, I'll bet you when she goes back to her wee office after that, she'll be going, bastard. <laughs> well, I think we'll end with that wonderful quote from <laughs> Mr. Grant. <laughs> thank you very much, gentlemen, and thank you for watching and listening. And goodbye.